So what we have here is we have a C-clamp clamping down on this board, and we need to figure out the torque M needed to compress this board with 50 newtons of force. So that's what we're going to figure out in this video. If you want a video explaining all of these equations, you can click on this video link and that'll take you to another one of my videos. If you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out which one of these equations we need to use. So we need to figure out in which direction this W is, at, is acting. So we know that um, there needs to be compression force of 50 newtons on this board. So this board is going to be pushing back with a force of 50 newtons. And then the impending motion for this um, screw, which um, is part of the clamp, is going to be downward so it can compress this board. So that means that W, which is the compression force, is going to be in the opposite direction of impending motion. So we are going to be using this equation. So the first thing we need to do is we need to solve for, or I guess the next thing we need to do is we need to solve for phi and theta. So theta is going to equal the arc tangent of um, the lead, which we're given that it is three millimeters, divided by two pi times the radius, which is 10, and that comes out to be 2.73 degrees. And then phi is the arc tangent of the coefficient of static friction, which is 0 0.35. And calculating that, you end up getting that that is 19.3 or 0.29. And so plugging in the what we know to this equation, m equals r. Now, in order to get our answer in newton meters, we'll need to change r into meters, which ends up being 0 0.01 meters, then multiply it by w, which is 50, because that is the compression force needed. So it is going to be the screw is going to be pushed on by 50 newtons of force and then multiply that by the tangent of phi plus theta add those, add those together and you get that that's 22.02 degrees and then calculating this we end up getting that m equals 0 0.202 newton meters So there's a pretty simple example of frictional forces on screws, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments and I will reply to them. Um, down in the description, I've got some links to Teespring and Amazon where you can buy some um, merch from Student Engineering, and buying that helps me a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering, and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.